Hi, I'm Bonnie Roskis from 3D Vinci. In this video, I'll show a technique you can use to set up a SketchUp model to be used in layout, then use that same SketchUp file to easily make multiple layout presentations for similar models. I have two media cabinets modeled in SketchUp. Here's the first one, where I created a separate layer for doors so that I can easily show and hide the cabinet doors. Here's the other cabinet, which has the same layer for showing and hiding the doors. One important thing to note here is that the door layer has the exact same name in both models. Also, both cabinets face the same way with respect to the model axes and are both located right at the model origin. Now here I have an empty SketchUp file called Cabinet to Layout. This is the file I'll use for sending these cabinets into layout. Each cabinet is already saved in its own SketchUp file, so this empty file is just the vehicle I'll use to get each cabinet into layout. Any changes I make in this file won't affect the original cabinet models. I'm going to use File, Import to bring in the first cabinet model. And I'm going to place it right here by the origin. This cabinet is imported as a component. Now into this SketchUp file I've added four scenes, which correspond to the views I want to show in layout. This scene shows the entire cabinet, and this scene shows the exact same thing but with the door layer hidden so that I can peek inside. This scene is a front view that uses parallel projection, and this is a side view also in parallel projection. I need to use File, Save, before sending this cabinet into layout. Here I have the cabinet's layout file where I've set up the four viewports I want to show. Each viewport shows the corresponding scene that was saved with the SketchUp model. In the front and side views, I added a few dimensions to show the cabinet's width, height, and depth. This is the layout file I want to use to show the same presentation for all of the other cabinets I have. I use File, Save As to save this presentation for this cabinet. Now back in the SketchUp file, I'm right-clicking on the cabinet component and choosing Reload. And I'm choosing to replace it with the second cabinet. This cabinet is taller than the previous one, so I'll go through the scenes one by one and adjust them. I'm adjusting this first view and right-clicking on the first scene tab and choosing Update. For the second scene, I'm going to hide the doors layer and then right-click on the second scene tab and choose Update. Now I'm updating the front scene and updating it. Then I'm going to switch to Camera, Standard Views Left and update the side scene. I want to be sure to check all four scene tabs to make sure that everything looks right. and I need to save this SketchUp file again before I can send it to Layout. Going back to the Layout file, there are a couple of ways I can update the viewports. I could use the Document Setup window on the References page and use the Relink option. But an easier way is just to right-click on any viewport and choose Update Model Reference. All of the viewports update at once showing the updated scenes from the SketchUp model. The dimensions from the first cabinet don't work with this one, but I can fix that by double-clicking on a dimension and moving its reference points to match the new object in the viewport. And again, I'll use File, Save As, so that I'll be sure not to overwrite the layout presentation for the first cabinet. This technique, and many others like it, can be found in my book, SketchUp 2015 Hands-On Layout, available at Amazon or on the 3D Vinci website. Thanks for watching.